In this video, we are going to sync the bananas in networking. Let's create an array to store the game objects. In order to synchronize your transformation, you have to convert all position and rotation into bytes. On the other side, all those received bytes should be converted into position and rotation for each game object. And please don't forget to assign the game objects. I am going to demonstrate how to synchronize the position and rotation data in this example. As you can see, we have 7 float data for each game object, and each float equals to 4 bytes. Therefore, our total length of send bytes will be the number of game objects multiply 7, and multiply 4. We create a for loop for copying each group of float data. We use block copy method to do this. After converting all transformation into bytes, we can send those bytes via networking. There are many kinds of networking solution, which we could discuss later. In this tutorial, we simply use FM Network UDP solution for the networking part. In this experiment, we try to synchronize client's transformation from server. It means that only server will send out the position and rotation data. All the clients will receive the byte data and decode them back to transformation once the data are converted from byte to normal float value. We can assign them for each game object. FM Network UDP is one of simple solutions for beginner.
And please don't forget to pass the received data to our example script. Now, let's build our UDP client for testing. As you can see, the banana in the app will move when we are changing the transformation on server side.